Hello again, Chia nerds, and welcome back. This is the Gigahorse Farmer, as you remember, the compressed plot. Now sitting about 850 gigabyte raw space, but uh, 1.2 beta petabyte effective. That's with the C7 compressed plots. This is all running that Mad Max Gigahorse compression software. That he takes the 3% fee, just takes a win every time you get it uh, randomly. So far, I haven't had to pay him yet, but uh, I would not mind at this point because he has a great uh, piece of software going on here. This is that USB wall. I like to think I did a good job on cable management. You can uh, tell me how crappy it is. I won't, I won't uh, argue. I kind of did it a little bit fast, but it worked. You can see that big cluster of power cables coming up there. Everything feeding into a 10-port hub. That going right on over to that motherboard and spitting in there with the other ones. I got two plus the 20 USB drives, and then I got... Uh, I think 30 SATA drives, so quite a lot of drives running here, but it's all I have no problems with uh, latency because I've got, remember the iGPU in here decompressing, their C7 level compressed plots, as long as, uh, along with the uncompressed farmer, which, here's the surprise, no longer uncompressed. I think two out of these drives so far have compressed plots on them. This is the official CNI blade bit uh, farmer. Well, blade, or it's the uh, official CNI farmer using the blade bit plotter, which is giving me official um, C5 plots because they don't support open CL uh, compression or decompression. Sorry, the GPU uh, support. They only have CUDA, and since you can see, I don't have big old honking GPUs hanging off the sides of these things. I'm gonna stick with C5 for now because uh, it does. Uh, the CPU can handle it, and there's a plot filter change coming up from 128.256 that will tax uh, farmers a lot more since a lot more work's got to be done. So I decided to go C5 on this one. Now C7 and C5 is not directly um, comparable between Gigahorse and the CNI official farmer, uh, but C5 everybody seems to think works well with CPU. Uh, the cool news about Bladebit being that it can do um, compressed uh, plots. It's been able to do that for a while with 256 gigabytes of memory, which I went out and got a 256 gigabyte workstation, which we'll show later. But that's what's uh, currently replacing this. So this will become a compressed official farmer. Right now it is a mix. That's also cool to see on the new um, 2.0 RC3, I think we're up to for the farmer. It's got a lot more cool screens, a lot more uh, signaling from the harvesters, which is neat to see. So we'll jump to that next, but this is, I guess, 10% compressed farm and fully compressed farm. So this one will just keep on doing its thing. I'm not doing, you can see I cut down to the gigabit connection. I'm not even on my 2.5 anymore, just the onboard connection. So I don't need anything faster than that if I'm not pushing out plots. This is just farming right now. Back over here is the one I'm concentrating on. This one's gonna keep on getting plots till I fill all these drives up. And then of course, another USB wall right over here. So I know you're all fired up about that workstation, you can't stop thinking about it, I don't blame you. 256 gigs of memory is nuts. And we will get to it, I promise. But first we'll take a short little detour here, I wanted to show the Gigahorse um, Farmer and where it's at right now. We are actually at uh, 808 terabytes of raw, that gives us 1.2 petabyte. The important thing is the count here. This is still 1.82 giga 14, so you're not going to see the actual effective size, but it's 1.2, well, maybe 1.1. Um, as you can see, it's still doing the hardcore uh, GPU action uh, somewhere here. There it is, 44%. So it's hitting the GPU pretty regular, not hitting a lot of uh, CPU back down to 1 gigabit, not pushing plots, don't need anything faster. UPS still holds it up at 20 minutes. Uh, but if we go down here, these are all the drives. This web page I'll link as well. This is just a status page. Again, people say, you know, why is it so quiet? It's passive cooling. Everything's under, well under the 60. If your hard drive hits 60 uh, degrees Celsius, you want to put a fan on it. None of these are at 60. They're all fine. Load cycles are low, again, because we set that idle B to zero. Um, and these are all running REFS because I'm a nerd. Talk about that too, uh, but if we come down here, the USB drives start here, and you can see there's a whole lot of them. So um, I pumped all these up to, like I said, 22 USB drives and 30 
um, uh, sanitarized. And we got lots of proofs coming in, good stuff. No errors, no warnings, everything's perfect, that's fun. Uh, we'll jump over to uh, Gigahorse now. This is the, or I'm sorry, this is the regular farmer, the uncompressed one, and you can see I've wiped out the D drive. It is 90% free, but there's 18 compressed plots coming in. So we got some action, a little bit hotter, because it's right, and you can see those hard drives, they get stressed out too. Uh, they're getting heat, they're heated up from all that write activity. The rest of them just doing boring reads with boring uh, uncompressed plots, but uh, we'll get there eventually. So now, just to prove how very exciting that workstation is, since we've covered the basics of the farmers, yes, I did in fact buy this friggin' machine for $320. I will again link it. comes with 256 gigs. Um, 3.7 is nuts. You can't beat this price. This is a sweet renewed price. So I will, of course, link this. Uh, if it's still there, you can get it. Not that you even need it, because again, 128 gigabyte plotting is happening probably within the week. Um, and then this is going to be a dinosaur. But it is such a cool looking dinosaur. If you are able to get it for 320 bucks, do it. Just to have sitting around and say, look at my sweet workstation. Because that's what I'm going to be doing. So you probably said, oh, he showed me the purchase screen. That means he's going to show me the workstation. No, nope, that's not how YouTube works. You see the good stuff at the end. you got to see all this other stuff first. But I promise this is good stuff, too. If we go to the blockchain, I'm at 2RC3. They have done some really cool stuff on this um, new farmer uh, GUI. you got the NFTs. Everybody loves those. Uh, you got verifiable credentials. This guy obviously owns a Lenovo workstation, otherwise he would not be here. Uh, we also got uh, offers. And stuff. I think those were already there in context. I'm not sure how much of this is new. But the really cool thing is the farm tab. I love this. It has so much information on it. Um, it tells you what's going on with the net space, your farming, pooling, you name it. It's like the place to be when you're farming uh, Chia. And then they have the new Harvester one, which I like as well, which supports compressed plots. You can see my raw space is 418. Don't have a lot of compressed ones. And that's reflected down here in the circle. I was just so excited uh, I had to start a video. Yeah, I only got 25 now of compressed plots. It's still pumping in there. And then the original uncompressed uh, are what most of them are. This will switch over over time, obviously. Harvester latency I really like. It tells you how long it is to get stuff. So they put a lot of work into this. Um, I'm glad they were keeping busy while they were delaying the 128 gigabyte uh, of blade bit. Again, they did not want to release that until I had purchased my workstation uh, and then release it to make sure that it is um, invalidated. But again, I don't care because it's a sweet friggin workstation and it's worth it anyway. So this is what's happening with the uncompressed, turning compressed plot with the new version 2 um, uh, GUI, which I think is awesome. I think they've done a fantastic job here. Everything, everything on here is cool, so I approve. Uh, you'll see that right now I am getting a plot from that workstation, which you will see eventually. Re spitting out, it was a 222, but... Full on uh, right speed to this, uh, I'm pretty sure this one's an Exos, and then of course I've got the not quite saturating 2.5, but working. And then we've also got, uh, we're still feeding the Gigahorse farmer those part or those uh, decompression requests. So this is still using the GPU, even though the farmer here is not using the GPU, I'm still sending the um, decompress requests back to the Gigahorse one. So it's still using both these GPUs. The CPU, since I only have, what, 12 some odd plots, is really not doing that much more. This will go up quite a bit as they all switch over from uncompressed to compressed. And I expect that. And then when the plot filter halves, that's coming up uh, in the next couple months, I think, that is also going to put a lot more stress on this. So if you are doing compressed plots and you do not have a GPU, I would keep it at C5 or under for the official blade bit plotter. Uh, but if you're doing Gigahorse, he can use OpenCLI, and you can use pretty much any GPU available. Yeah, they just limited to CUDA on the blade bit, because it's a lot easier to develop for CUDA than uh, OpenCLI, which is the other AMD version. Although AMD is coming out with, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a, it helps things work with CUDA, so they might be a solution too. All kinds of exciting stuff going on in the world of uh, Chia and um, just... Uh, 
compression, decompression, GPUs in general. But that's what's going on at the uncompressed slash compressed farmer. Welcome to the Lenovo ThinkStation P520 workstation with an Intel Xeon W2135 3.7 gigahertz 6 core 12 logical core processor. This beast has 256 gigabytes of DDR4 memory in it. Why does anyone need 256 gigabytes of DDR4 memory? You don't. That's why it's a workstation. That's why consumer boards are stuck at 120 gig. Well, most consumer boards are stuck at 120 gigabytes. This thing can take 256 DDR4 and it has it. All 256 gigs. Why do you need 256 gigabytes even though you don't need it? Well, you can't plot compressed blade bit plots currently without 256 gigabytes. Now we're inside the Ridiculous workstation. You can see here there is four 32 gig DIMMs that gives us that magical 256 gigabyte uh, dream. A couple fans going on here. Obviously it's a professional workstation so it's not uh, sitting on a wall. It's got legit cooling going on and it was sent with no graphics card, no hard drive and thus no operating system which is why I got it so cheap. It was only $320 renewed. I will put the link in the description. Don't know how long it'll last because that is a sweet deal. The memory itself costs more than $320. You can't get 256 gigabyte of DDR4 memory for $320. So this is a steal, um, which is why I had to get it. Even though, as I mentioned, it's only really needed for another hour because I'm sure... In fact, you can thank me. The reason the 128 gigabit blade bit plotter is coming out right now is because I bought this thing. If I didn't buy it, it would not have come out on time. So you're welcome. Um, but now that I've got the 256 gigs, it is pretty quick. It's about a minute faster than the um, Mad Max Gigahorse was doing the C7 um, plots, which actually it, it's quicker to do more compressed plots because that's to write less. So uh, a minute less on C5 versus C7. It's pretty quick, and it's because it's using all that memory instead of bounce between the um, NVMe drives. It's my trusty 1070. That's what spits out those plots. That's the real trick to it. Nothing else in here. Pretty empty, but that's all I needed it for, so it does its job. And you've made it. We'll wrap this up with the CUDA plot uh, version 3. Full 256, well, it's not even using the full, I guess it used two full 256, it was, it was like compression one or something, but since it's C5, it doesn't need all 256, which is nice. Um, I can spare some, I guess. Uh, not the fastest memory, definitely not the fastest processor, but none of that matters because this GPU is doing all the work. You can see it's uh, probably more than 55, it's just not able to show it here. I don't know which one of these is the one you want to show, but... I'm fairly confident it's doing a lot of work because it's 68 degrees, it's running pretty hot even in that well-ventilated case. We got the memory again full. Uh, this plot or plotter over here, the blade bit, is um, running. You can see the NVIDIA has a CUDA. I think it has a CUDA, yeah, compute capability 6.1. You can crank this up, but it's not going to go that much faster. I mean, I think people with 40s, 60s will crank them out in a lot less minutes than me, but it's still going to take it a few minutes to get one. I don't know how fast they can go uh, with Blade, but Gigahorse was still a couple minutes. Um, but that's ridiculous compared to when it was six hours back when this all started. Um, and then, so I got the GPU working hard, got the memory working hard. Uh, and then I'll end off with my favorite little CPU Z action. This is a pretty old hardware, but it, none of it matters because you just want that memory size just so you can show off to your friends and, and uh, make everybody jealous. Especially that guy on the um, credentials screen, he'll be super jealous of all this. Uh, I don't know what half these are. I did update the uh, BIOS, which is nice. So if you do get one of these, you can get a BIOS from what it's got all the uh, vulnerabilities patched and everything, which is cool. They support these machines for so long, but I guess when you pay this much, I mean, originally they're probably like five grand. When you pay that much, not $300, for um, a workstation, they'll support it a lot longer than usual. And then, of course, we got all eight slots full of that beautiful Samsung DDR4 memory. Absolutely amazing. And then the 1070 in here. So, good stuff. Good luck with your uh, purchase of your new Lenovo ThinkStation workstation. Um, you won't need it anymore because, again, probably by now, the uh, 
128 gig plotters out. But you can always still run the old uh, 256 and uh, you know pretend you're hot stuff.